Hello, hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Um, yeah, so this is the, uh, the last song on the album. Can't believe it. 12 songs later. Um, so yeah, so started, I don't know how long ago, a few months ago. And um, yeah, this finishes up the album. And um, the start of the album is, um, uh, it's, starts at the funeral, uh, the song I wrote at the funeral, and the whole reason I, I wrote the album and, and put it all together is because so many people liked the song from the funeral that they wanted to hear it recorded. So um, obviously this isn't the recording that you're going to hear. You're going to hear um, the whole band and, and we, you know, went over the vocals and rewrote guitar parts and added, you know, the drums and the bass and all that stuff like that. But uh, this is just the, you know, the basic uh, you know, where it started. So, um, with this being said, uh, this song uh, called Waiting for a Change is all about, uh, it's, it's not even about Amanda, it's, it's about uh, a previous relationship I had, and it, uh, it was one of Amanda's favorite songs, I, I don't know really why, um, but maybe it was just because it showed a little bit who I was before, and then how I kind of grew up with, with Amanda, in that sense. And, um, and with that being said, it, it's, it's kind of funny because the lyrics in the song, um, I'm with somebody who wants me to be more responsible, but at, th at that moment, I think I was like 25 or something, and I was not responsible at all, and I was not ready to get married and all that stuff. So, um, oh, hi. Hi, everybody. Um, I, was, uh, I was playing this at an open mic one night, and... Um, Amanda was there, and I never met her, she never met me, and then she heard me singing before she even met me, and, and she turned to her friend, uh, Colleen, who said that she really liked this guy. So that was me. So, um, but she didn't even know me, but she just liked um, this song and, and, and the last one. Even though, uh, I think it's probably one of my weaker songs, but, uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, this is called uh, Waiting for Change, and it's totally not about Amanda, it's about a uh, previous relationship, yet it has a major impact in our life because that's how we met um which is interesting because you know the last song of the album is i mean i mean the first song of the album is where she passed away and and, and i was singing to, to say goodbye so um this song is about meeting her almost but it's about something else completely different so here it is uh, it's called waiting for a change and it's not about amanda <laughs> it's about Annette. and um but she loves the song so here it is <laughs> in the morning and you're waiting for me but I'm my way yourself with oil two o'clock in the morning and you're waiting for a change yeah you're waiting for me to come on They'll say that he's a good boy with a good education. University, he's been doing you just fine. You can't hear this, no? Yeah, yeah. You can't hear this at all? Check. You can't hear anything? They'll say that I'm a bummer on the ocean of your energy. Still, your way is in for a change. Waiting for me to become rearranged. But I've well said all of the time. Take care for these and plan video games. Your body. 
body and your mind. Yeah. So I'll die on Baldur's Isle. I knew what you truly wanted from me. Yeah, you wanted a big house in the middle of the country. Yeah, with a big white picket fence around it. Yeah, you want me to make a big six-figure salary. Come home at six, wash the dishes at seven, and watch the news at 11. Yeah, you wanted me to be somebody who I'm not. Yes, you wanted 2.77 cats, 0.88 kids, and 3.77 dogs. 3.77 dogs, yeah. Boy, I'm just now man down the sky. But still, you're away. years ago I was playing at an open mic and that's where we met and I was singing that song about, a, about another woman and uh, she really liked it I guess and um, so that, that concludes the whole album um, of course it's not going to sound like this it's going to you know uh, be all spiced up and um, it's kind of cool what you can do with recording um, although um, yeah we only we've only recorded we've only done this for seven days and, and we've already got all the tracks down so we're going to put up I think tomorrow we'll bring up like five tracks on the on the new site Scott Kelly and the Dynamics.ca. And um, so there's going to be five up there to listen to. And, uh, but we're still adding. We're going to master them. Uh, we're going to make them radio quality, add uh, backing vocals, and, and a whole bunch of different things. So, anyway, thank you so much for listening to all these random songs. And um, I look forward to seeing you at the show. And obviously, some of you are in living way far away. So, I'll try to throw it up on um, Facebook Live at the show. I don't know how it's going to sound uh, through that. Um, and I know the drummer's gonna record um, some of it. So uh, yeah, yeah, if you think about it, yeah, two months creating an album and, and doing all this stuff. Uh, I definitely don't wanna half-ass the proper version, so we're definitely going to pull out all the stops for the next thing. Um, and we're gonna really, uh, Phil Boba is the guy who's recording, he's won a couple of Junos, and he's been recording for 35 years in, in Ottawa. So um, he's, he's pretty uh, excited about it as well, um, but, but um, definitely says take your time and, and, and you know why rush things because uh, Amanda probably wouldn't really appreciate uh, me rushing this kind of tribute to her life and our life together so um, with that being said have a great night and um, I'll see you next time um,
like right now, I mean, 